stop relying on tutorials to make your game. Now, I'm not saying to stop using tutorials. I'm saying you shouldn't have to rely on tutorials to make a game or whatever it is you're making. So we've all been there at some point going through one of these like tutorial series. But the issue is if you just follow tutorials, then you'll kind of just be stuck in just only doing tutorials and you won't really know how to create things for yourself. So how do you not rely on tutorials? So something that kind of worked for me is if you take a tutorial like this uh, tutorial I made on checkpoints, and then all you need to do is add something onto it. Because even if you were just expanding just a small thing, it'll help your understanding of how to script, code, model, whatever it is you're doing. So for my checkpoint system, for example, I have it right here. So how can you expand on tutorials? For something like a checkpoint system, you could start with like particle effects or sounds or, you know, some UI that shows up whenever you hit the checkpoint. This is something that I also did whenever I was trying to stop, you know, using tutorials all the time. And also, if you're adding things, so make sure you break them down into the smallest steps you can. The first thing whenever we want to add a sound effect, whenever you hit a checkpoint, is you want a sound, right? We could just look up a sound and use it. Sure, we could just use this one. So we can go ahead and then make a sound for this. Okay, and then what's the next thing that you need after you get the sound? You need to a way to play it, right? So to play it, you need a variable for it. And then you need to see where the checkpoint is hit. So right here, I have a print as well. Go sound, colon, play. So even if it's something that's just like tiny, like this, like just adding just a super small thing it definitely does help with how you are able to read scripts and stuff it's a lot of trial and error it's just trying a bunch of tiny little variances of things just to see what went wrong and how it went wrong and that's just how i kind of learned as well and then after you feel comfortable with you know expanding off of tutorials that you've used then i'd say start creating your own you know little things see also if you have to be very patient Things take time, you know, the tutorials that have been made on my channel and stuff, especially like the lobby teleport tutorial or stuff, stuff like this. It's like I spent quite a bit of time, you know, scripting it. And it's, it's also like I went through a lot of errors before I made these videos, you know, so it's not like I just made it first try and then I'm done easy. Oh, another thing, just remaking things that already exist also would be a good thing, like remaking like a speed coil, gravity coil. You know, you can copy one for one exactly how they work, what they do and stuff. So just, you know, look at it, see how it works and then try to recreate it from there. I think that also might be a good idea. Oh, another thing is take your time. Okay. Like if I am unsure of how to do something, I'll take time to think about it for like maybe even a day or two. And then if I still don't have any ideas by then, I'll just start working on it and just see how it, you know, pans out and stuff. And you can even write out a list of steps that you need to do. So if you want to make like this stuff that spawns around the map, you need to take down, take the steps that you need. So like you need to get the models for them first, and then you need to get the spawn position that you want to, you know, get for them. And then you need to clone the model, put it at the position and all this stuff. If you just have a list of steps you need to take, then it'll make it a lot easier to actually do what you need to do. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Um, if you guys, you know, have any extra comments or ideas or whatever it is, make sure you leave them down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe and join my Roblox group and my Discord and all this, all that stuff. Okay, just see ya.